Alright folks, welcome back to the Spyro the Dragon Reignited Edition playthrough and today we're going to continue our quest with well, in the uh, Artisan's World. When I get, got rid of this thief, when I get rid of this bag gem thief and collect all the pearls from him. That's all done. Okay, so of course let's use the whirlwind to take us up to Market Town Square. Which is our next destination in the Artisan World and final level and of course we're going to do... Sunny Flight, which is of course the first speedway of the game, and then we get on with the next, uh, with the next um, step with the uh, boss of that of this world. We'll see who it is. All right, so Town Square, another easy stage, and it's quite, it's quite, it's got, it's got, it's another, it's another one of those thieves. It's, it's another one of those thieves, and of course we got a lot of gems to collect on this one. Right, let's talk to Nils, shall we? Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. Well, as you probably can tell, of course, the control scheme has been altered much better. And it's a lot more better to, of course, negotiate with the... Um, with the uh, with the right analog stick, but it makes it much more better than using the uh, shoulder buttons. Well, of course, if you charge into the if you charge into the balls, that means they uh, cannot, you know, get back up again. They'll, they'll be permanently stuck <laughs> until we get rid of them. <laughs> of course, there's a skill point where you have to charge into the balls and make their horns go stuck in. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? No! Really? No! Well, that's obvious. That was an obvious. That's basically the obvious uh, statement of the century. <laughs> I can hear some. What is it? Again. Oh my god, is that the sheep? Do I hear some sheep in there? No, no, I'll pick it. And basically, it must be those matadors. Right, let's get rid of these. I think that I think that I think I've left one ball behind, but that's okay because we can do that once we. Uh... Oh wait a minute, we have to rescue this dragon first. Alvar. Let's just see what he wants. Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Well then, have a bit of a rest and then continue with your, you know, with your, with your cut, with your barbecue. Well, but, uh, the guy, to be to be fairly honest, I prefer chicken. To be fairly honest. <laughs> Much, much lighter, much lighter. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, it's the thief. I, he's right. There's the thief. The, f oh my God, so he got away from me. But that's okay, cause I can, I can, uh, I think I could actually, you know, surround him. Right, where is he? I think he's gone down there. So, I think he's gone down there. So that'll be, that'll be me and my advantage. Let's go to gems. Right. You know what? Let's glide over there and rescue this uh, dragon first. Oh, yes. I got a skill point. I got all the balls. Okay, that's good. Right, Lo. Let's fit the rest. Let's go and talk to four. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. Ooh, that's good. And by the way, folks, that was the first of the thanks for releasing me, dragons, because, of course, their phrases kind of get quite boring after a while. And, of course, annoying. All right, let's see. Gotcha! There we go. That's that done. We got the egg. Heh. That's an easy egg. The thief has got... I got rid of that thief. All right, let's see. Basically, if you press the um, 
the um, what was it the 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 top of the the the, the top of your um, what was it the the big the big button the big button on the uh, analogs on the control on the PS4 controller you can actually check your progress and see how many dragons are left how much treasure is left is in the stage how much dragons and if there's any eggs in the stage which makes it easier than the original version much much easier. Alright, now that's that done, we can now exit Market Square and return back to the Artisan's Land. Okay, so now that's that done, let's begin with the first speedway of the game, Sunny Flight. We'll go off and see where it is. So of course, of course. But the, the fact that I've got those, you know, if you get those pearls, it makes up for easy grinds. And of course, those blue butterflies that appear on the Every time you feed, um, I think Sparks free is there. I think there's free um, uh, ten butterflies you can feed Spark before a blue one pops out. So basically, basically, yeah, it makes that makes good for grinding lives. The later stages of the game. So, all right, so we're off to Sunny Flight. Now I'm going to be honest with you. This one is a very easy stage. But sometimes the, uh... Okay, oh great, oh no, great, I've missed that one. But I can get it on my way out though, that's a good thing. And of course the physics kind of make it a little bit, you know, wonky or tacky, but... But at least I'll be, I'm able to, of course, be able to uh, foot my, get some more decent footing out of it though. If we, if we go onto the... Of course, you can actually, if you press the uh, jump button, you can actually go, you know, you can actually, you know, go up a bit higher, so at least you don't crash. The flight stages basically are unlimited flight stages for Spyro. I think there's some kind of power that allows Spyro to, you know, fly, fly permanently. Right, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of them just to get a bit of extra time before, so that we don't run out of time. That's all. All the darches are done. Now we can get on with the aeroplanes. And then afterwards, we do the. Um, we can actually get on with the uh, the trains. Of course, there's barrels on the trains that need to be destroyed, in order for them to be destroyed. Right. Gotcha. All right, that's all the planes done. So now we can get the. Tr now we can start demolishing the train, the railway. I highly doubt the fat controller is going to be happy with that. But then again. Spyro does not take shit from anyone. Absolutely not a goddamn chance. Right, that's that done. That's all they. Uh, that's that done. That's what Sunny Flight completed. Very nice. So now that's that done, we can be able to get back to the artisan and face off with the boss. Right, boss time. Let's. Let's all head on over to the bot, to the boss area. All right, let's get rid of these. The reason why I collect pearls is just to, you know, in order to. Yeah, you know, I know it's a, I know it's one of the easiest games in the It Reignited trilogy. But in case, of course, some certain levels give me trouble later on, we could be able to. Uh, bit, it's better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Wow, well, what? Where well, we're going off to our first boss. Toasty. Yes. Okay, so without being doubt, Toasty is Toasty's level. But Toasty's a very easy boss to go to, 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 uh, to encounter. But the, but the, but the thing is, but the thing is, there has been. But of course, it's not plain sailing. To be fairly honest. The reason why I don't think it's plain sailing is because, well, well, the thing is, it's the it's the dot it's the dogs and the shepherds that are my uh, biggest pet peeve. Dogs can can basically combo you, can combo you, can combo you endlessly, which is the most annoying thing, and and uh, and killing them is the most annoying part. Of course, I know some people may think I'm. You know, crazy, but that's what I think. And the thing is, I don't even seem to can't seem to complete it without even taking a single hit. 
Oh, that's the reason why. I've got to be careful, though. Because I've got Sparks is gone, I have to be very extra vigilant on how to uh, confront the dogs. I do like I do like this song though. I do like Toasty's music though. It's quite you know. It's basically a remix version of the uh, theme tune, which sadly is not even heard in this game. The uh, do 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 do. It's basically sadly not heard in this game. Well. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Well, basically that's what it is, Nevin. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, anyway, any of the themes sadly are not even heard. Except, uh, of course, the only theme that's never heard is, of course, the Avalarf. It is basically the Gateway to Glimmer theme. Or, or the theme of Glimmer, and of course the theme of Spyro 2 or 3, which is basically heard in the, uh, is basically heard in the uh, Sparks levels. Yeah. Got ya. Got it. Right, he's Toasty's down, or Toasty is toast. <laughs> oh, I can be very savage, though. Right, that's all the, uh, that's all the, uh, that's all the treasure got. I got all the treasure, I managed to get all the dragons freed, and now it's time to go back to the artisan's world. We need to get Sparks back before we head on over to our next destination, the, which is of course the Peacekeepers. I just need another sheep to uh, consume. Ooh, extra life! Right, that's that done. Now we can head on over to the balloonist and get to our next world. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am, Marco. I am, no doubt, ready to get going. All right, so with that being said, let's head over. All right, so we are entering the Peacekeeper's world now, so we can be able to stop this part and uh, be able to uh, get on with the next part when we do get on, continue. So, that's all that done. So, basically, that's all that done. So, so with the whole of the artist's world done, we are going to, you know, stop right here. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for when I'm going to take on the, the last world of the game. So... The next world of the game, which is, of course, the Peacekeepers. So, I'll see you guys in part three of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy playthrough. So, see you guys next time.